Hey friends, I am coming to you this morning because we've had a couple teachers purchase new computers, uh, rightfully so, really good deals going on right now in the wake of everything that we're doing digitally with our students. They wanted to get a, a nice new PC uh, and this is pretty exclusive to uh, Windows 10 PCs. So if you are thinking about it and you decide to get one, be sure that you do not log in as you're setting up the device with your More Schools account. Set it up for a personal use, and then I'm going to show you how to get all of your Microsoft tools on it once it's all set up. So uh, first things first, when you get a PC, you're going to see this pretty much right off the bat. As soon as you power it up, it's going to take you through a setup screen. This is one of the screens that you're going to get right off the bat. Please select set up for personal use. Once you set up for personal use, you can set up your organization account later, but you have to set it up as a baseline just with a personal Microsoft account. In fact, that's going to be the next screen that you're going to see, and it's going to look like this. And so if you don't have a different Microsoft account, like a Hotmail, a At Live, or all of the various Microsoft extensions that they have, just click Create Account. Create a personal Microsoft account. Do not use your app more schools or if you're a student an app more student account right here. Do not sign into your Windows 10 machine with your school account. Once you have your computer set up and you see a screen that looks something like this, open up your browser and go to the more schools homepage or your homepage or just go directly to your bookmark if you have it for Office 365. Once you log into Office 365, this is where you're going to install all of your Microsoft Office 365 apps. And you do that by simply clicking right here, and then it's going to take you through the setup process. Now, of course, I've already got this on my machine, so I'm not going to click on this, but at, as soon as you do click on this, that's when it asks you to sign in with your school account. Speaking of which, if you think that you've logged in to this device, or your personal device at home with your school account, all you have to do is click on manage your account through the system settings. Make sure that you don't see your school uh, right here, it, like more Brandon Wilmarth. You shouldn't see any of this. What you should see is the option to maybe log into your email account. Uh, so if you want to log into your email account, that's fine but I would not access your work or school through your personal computer, Office 365 apps, and get, getting online with your personal computer. So if you have any questions about this, uh, just email edtech at moreschools.com and we'll help out. Thanks.